Uh, the Supreme Court is uh, taking up that matter. Let me go across to Arvind for more details. Arvind, uh, what are we hearing from the Supreme Court at the moment? Uh, uh, are there arguments that are continuing at the moment? Maha, this has moved Supreme Court seeking bail in the a recent affair that has been lodged by the Gujarat police based on the Supreme Court judgment in the Gujarat rights matter, wherein she has been accused of hatching political costs in order to destabilize the Gujarat state government. So on that particular allegation, Gujarat police had registered an affair against her and she was subsequently arrested and she is currently lodged in jail for almost two months. Now, Tista Satalwad moved Supreme Court seeking bail in this particular case. Senior advocate Kapil Sibal appearing for Tista Satalwad made arguments before the Supreme Court saying that Gujarat police, uh, they simply copied the judgment of the Supreme Court and then they registered this FIA wherein they also invoked sections like forgery against Pisa Satalwar, wherein Supreme Court, wherein a senior advocate Kapil Sibal argued for Supreme Court uh, saying that there, has, there is no case against Pisa Satalwar and Gujarat police could not even have registered this FIA. So uh, after hearing the argument of Kapil Sibal, Supreme Court asked some pertinent strong questions to Gujarat Government Council Solicitor General Tushar Mehta asking, uh, is there anything else apart from the Supreme Court judgment that the Gujarat police managed to unearth or gather during this course of investigation for two months? They also made the point, they also highlighted the point that Tisa Satalwad being a lady, she was arrested almost two months back and she is currently lodged in jail and Gujarat High Court has issued notice on her bail plea uh, returnable in six weeks. That's something Supreme Court said that is this the standard practice in such an important bail matter? Can the High Court issue notice returnable in six weeks? That's something Supreme Court asked uh, questions to Gujarat government. So because Solicitor General wanted more time to uh, complete his argument, so matter has been posted tomorrow for 2 p.m. So tomorrow at 2 p.m., Solicitor General appearing for Gujarat government will complete his argument and after which uh, Supreme Court will pass an interim order on the bail plea of Tisa Satalwa, which we can expect by tomorrow evening. All right, Arvind May, thanks for joining us with those details.